A facility in Davenport that's been changing lives for almost a decade. Michelle Allison operates Juan Diaz Rancheros. It's a nonprofit that rescues horses. The horses become therapy animals to help kids recover from traumatic experiences. It's now been around for eight years. Local force Tehran Rahman joins us in the studio with how the program changed one teenager's life. Tehara? Jim Tiffany, Isabel Vasquez walked through the gates of the ranch as a shy and angry teen. She walked out as a young woman who no longer defines herself by her past. I had a lot of anger in me. I guess I know where it came from, but that's not something I'm going to talk about. After years of bouncing from counselor to counselor, a 15-year-old Isabel Vasquez found herself at a small ranch tucked away in Davenport. There was just something there that I felt like I needed to be around. And in the hands of Michelle Allison and her rescued horses. Almost to the point of nonverbal, really. I mean, she just didn't want to engage. She didn't want to give eye contact. She didn't want to touch the horses. Soon, the teen who couldn't shake her trauma My life started changing ever since found a way to take the reins. When we were walking down the driveway with the horse, you had to have confidence, I guess. Being able to see her not believe in herself. When she kept telling me, stop thinking about like the negative thoughts and think about what you want her to do made her stop and slow down her thoughts enough to know that they were actually not just secret things. They impacted her relationships and her successes. A breakthrough for the now 18-year-old that hundreds have experienced at Juan Diaz Rancheros. Ever since I came here and realized that these horses are a reflection on how your life is, it kind of like turned everything around. A connection changing lives across the Quad Cities. She doesn't look back at her life before as it's almost like through the process she's embraced her life and all the things that have happened to be who she is today, which is successful, outgoing. She graduated from high school early. She has a job. Life is good for her. Michelle thanks the city of Davenport for allowing her to use a space next to Federberry Park. She's considered an independent contractor and she doesn't charge any of her clients for services. She runs solely on donations. You can find out how to reach out at ourquadcities.com. In the studio, Tahira Rahman, Local 4 News. Tahira, thank you.